Pingua. Hello, it's Kayla from Pingua. Welcome to episode four in our Scratch Basic series. This episode will take you through the steps of adding a sound to your sprite. Let's begin. Choose a sprite that you wish to add a sound to. If you are unfamiliar with how to choose a sprite, see Scratch Basics episode two, deleting a sprite, adding a sprite, and adding a backdrop for more information. Some sprites will come with their own sound, which can be found by selecting the sprite you wish to add a sound to and clicking on the sounds menu above the block palette. Sounds associated with your sprite will appear in the menu to the left side of your screen. To select a different sound, go to choose a sound in the bottom left corner of the sounds menu. Select the magnifying glass icon. This will take you to the Scratch Sound Library. You can scroll through all of the sounds, search for a sound using the search bar, or select a category from the top of the menu to find a sound. You can test any sound by hovering over the play button in the top right corner of the sound. Add the sound that you would like to code by left clicking on it. The sound that you selected will appear in the left-hand menu under the Sounds tab located above the box palette. You can also create your own sound if the device you are using has a microphone for voice recording. To do this, you must go to Choose a Sound in the bottom left corner of the Sounds menu. Select the microphone icon to record your own sound. The Record Sound box will appear on your screen. When you are ready to begin recording your sound, select the orange record button. The recording will begin as soon as you click the orange record button. Clear for takeoff. When you're finished, select the stop button. Test your recording by selecting the blue play button. You can also trim your recording at the beginning and the end by dragging the orange dots to your desired location. You can also select the blue re-record button if you would like to start your recording again. Select the blue save button when you have your desired recording. Your voice recording will appear in the left-hand menu at the bottom under the sounds. To rename your voice recording, select on the recording in the left menu, click inside the white sound bubble and rename it by deleting the current name and typing the name you would like this will also change the name of your recording in the left-hand menu. To code a sound on your sprite, select the code in the top tabs. Go to the events tab and click and drag a when green flag clicked block from the events panel onto your code area. Next, go into the sound tab in your block palette and click and drag a play sound space ripple until done block onto your code area. Click on the drop down menu in the play sound space ripple until done block and select the sound that you wish to use in your code. If you would like to add multiple sounds to your code, go to the control tab in the blocks palette and click and drag a wait one seconds block onto your code area. You can change the time in the white bubble to make it a shorter or longer time between sounds by clicking inside the white bubble and typing your desired seconds. Next, you're gonna go back to your sound tab and click and drag a second play sound space ripple until done onto your code area. Click on the drop down menu to select a different sound that will play after the first sound. Test out your code. Clear for takeoff. You'll see that once you select the green flag, your first sound will play and then it will wait one second and then your second sound will play. This is the end of episode four in our Scratch Basic series. Be sure to follow us on social media and sign up for our newsletter to receive updates on other online lessons, activities, tutorials, and more. 
To learn more, check out the next episode in our series. Thanks for watching.